My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slate This My Downfall. Uh, my apologies for the absence of this series uh, for a little bit this week. I've had a couple tech issues I'm working through. Uh, in particular, blue screens have been abundant. Um, and I'm working through it with the nuclear option, which is getting a new PC. Uh, that's actually something that's been on the back burner for a really long period of time. I kind of just needed something to push me over the edge. And this has been that for me. All right. Wow, literally only one elite. We're above ascension level one, and we still only have one elite on the path. Don't love that, but at the very least, it means I get to choose my path based around everything else instead. Two of those paths, three of those paths. Yeah, all of those paths can have two fires on them as well. Hmm. Take on two enemies and then a shop, I think. Maybe. What do we have here? 250 souls, actually. Yeah, let's do that and then a shop. <sighs> we want two then a shop. Yeah, two then a shop so that I have the ability to try and get a little bit more powerful early on. Um, go to needs its upgrade. So we upgrade to go to. It's, it's back to being me. You know it's me because I upgraded go-to immediately. Defend, 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 defend. Hmm. Go-to actually might be in, like insanely important here. We defend, then go-to. Didn't end up helping us in the way that I needed it to. I was never going to be able to defend against the majority of damage coming in there. Um, unless I got Replicate there and then used that to kill the target and then double defended. So I got what I wanted, but I got a turn after I wanted it. Uh, unfortunately, that's got to be another double defend, just accepting some damage. And that'll finish it off. Beautiful. Entropic Brew, Cultist Strike, this early on? Sure. Sure. We want to encode that every single battle, getting its increase. <laughs> this is going to be an easy way to encode it. One, two, boom, encoded. Sorry, it's compile to increase its damage permanently. So using something like Bit Shift to remove it from the current... Uh, current sequence and then playing it again will not help. I had to clarify that because I was about to propose that as a particularly good idea. Nice. Null pointer, branch, cut through. I never use branch. I should be using branch, shouldn't I? It seems really good. Maybe cut through even? You know what? Let's take a single copy of cut through. Not been utilizing that much. Scry can be pretty damn powerful if you let it. Just double defend. We can hit Cult of Strike in the next cycle. We're almost certain to. But only if it compiles will it work, so I can't play Cut Through here. Actually, it could be the bottom card of the deck. It's not, thankfully. Hmm. Not a huge amount of damage out there, but that was not really what we were coming here for. Dark Dash, Bit Shift, Oil, Spill, Return to Come the Sequence Your Hand, no. Upgrade to that is... Yeah, it itself gains retain. Dark Dash. No. Oil Spill. I think also no. Hey, this Cult of Strike. What's this base damage? Six? Why is it only on seven? I've, uh, I've compiled it two times. Hmm. Right, what do you got? 
Potions always appear in combat rewards. It's pretty great. Flail's also really good. Thunder waves. Also there. Next upgrades this. Literally just upgrades its base damage, not even its compile growth. Oh! I'm a dummy. I now know what you do with the cultist strike. You refine it. You keep hitting it with refines. Uh, a strange spoon would give me the ability to double up on some of those refines. Um... Flail feels too good not to take. But I do really want to try and focus on the cultist strike. But if I am going to be upgrading cards in play, like Flail's really happy to do that. So is blockchain, actually. Flail might be statue. If I had enough money, I would have taken the blockchain afterwards as well. Dupe two cards. No. Dupe one card? Go to. Definitely. 100%. Uh, defend, defend, defend. Happy to run those all out when I know I've got a go-to left in the deck. Speaking thereof, as well. Hmm. I can grow that much larger later without having to take the seven damage here. Turbo, Cult of Strike, Bow Barrage. I'm going to take a second one. Tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. I can put... I can put three of those onto my path right now. Okay, yeah, we take that. Flail? Didn't get into flail. Obviously, I can't go to here, just in case I do draw into flail here. Um, so this one's just a double defend. Unfortunately, accept a bunch of damage, but... hey -oh, had to happen. Let's strike flail. Pew. Get them all. Strength. That's. It's too much. I can't do it. I tried. I tried. You saw me try and do it. I just couldn't. Couldn't bring myself that full way there. We cut through. Great. And then uh, this also draws a card, but on the compile, so I can wait. Hold it. Then use one cultist strike. <laughs> that one had more damage than I thought it did. I wanted to use the flail and then play the flail again next turn. Hmm. Do I actually need the strength potion in this fight? Maybe. Fine. Go to there. This is going to draw two cards as well. Unfortunately, getting that flail out of the draw pile, but got to do what you got to do. Okay. Definitely throw out a replicate. Hit him with the double defend, another strike. Next time we have the Cutting Gore. Uh I guess I'm gonna replicate. Then double defend? Ugh. Assuming that I'll have enough damage by the next time the enemy attacks to actually have killed them. Seems like it was a pretty safe assumption. Holy Smooth Stone, Recursive Strike. Encode two copies of Strike in the following one. Ooh. No, we just need to find a defensive engine and deal with what we currently have, I think. Um. Uh, okay. Ooh. I am going to muddle highest cost card. Okay, cool. We get the flail and we get to play that and we play the flail again. Um, 
I'm going to use the Alkyrical and then pop this. Also pop the Block Potion there. Feels appropriate to reroll my potions just a little bit. Okay, and then next is the Cultist Strike, and that'll encode. Great. Pick up the Swift Potion. Sticky Shield? Is that really what I'm going to do? I do need defense. I don't want to. But I should. Sometimes you just got to take your lumps. I was about to say speaking thereof if I was going to get hit there, but thankfully we don't need to. Yay or a game? A game. Mm, mm, mm. So I can fight here fighting a gremlin knob? Yeah, let's do it. Take you out. Hopefully we get flail. We do not get flail this turn. That's unfortunate. Increase the number of all cards in sequence by one. Next card's placed twice. Draw potion. Next card's played twice, but it won't be encoded twice, right? I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, second one doesn't go up there. It dealt good damage, but... Yeah, all the enemy needs to do right now is just attack us again. And they do. Uh, yeah. And then we're locked into having to full defend. And... Full dead. Okay. Yeah, we went way overboard there. What I needed to do is find fine tuning, which I didn't do. You know, <laughs> that's didn't really have too much input on whether or not I was going to be finding that. Um, but only take one cult to strike, focus more on my defend earlier on. Gives us a little bit of a guide as to what we should do next time we are in that same position. Ooh, okay, three elite path. We're going to have to play pretty conservatively here because it's three elites and it's literally no rests. Uh, unless I want to specifically take... Uh, maybe I end up taking that rest. Is there a four elite path? No, there's the three elite. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, well, let me quickly um, hmm, think about it. Which am I going to upgrade here? Hmm. What do you got for us? Blockchain Digital Carnage and Return. Digital Carnage might just be enough damage that I take it right now for the sake of the upcoming elites. Can't hold out for something perfect if I'm going to be going up against that many elites that soon. Play a copy of each card in the sequence. They do not encode. Hmm. What if I only put expensive cards in the sequence? Is that anything? That's nothing. I'm taking a return. Bit shift turbo front load. I can take a front load. So if the function gains retain and also ethereal, retain overrides ethereal. Excuse me. Okay, please. Thank you. We get those micro stutters every so often and I'm always like, oh, is it about to crash? But it never does. It never does. Ah, that gate gives us an energy immediately after. Whoops. Is that? Hup, hup, and then hup again, and then one more hup for the kill. Fear pot, infinite beams, buggy mess, piercing shot. No. I want turbo more than I want buggy mess. Hmm. Digital Carnage itself is not ethereal. Still think I throw it on turn one. Gain the energy back on return. Attack. Don't want to get to the next cycle without still having played it. There we go. Front load. Replicate. We get it back. Gain. Attack, attack. 
attack and then literally just find it as soon as possible. We could get it from this draw even on go to, uh, or we could get it immediately. Bag of preparation, the start of combat draw two additional cards. Great. Pick up right there, one of my favorites. Fine tuning. Now I wanted it previously, but one increase on block. Obviously it's really good with go to. It's always really good with go to. One increase on damage and digital carnage. I don't think that's, excuse me, our play. Uh, I also don't really want to mix cheap with expensive in our functions. You want them all to be similar costs. Take the Sapphire Key very early on here. Don't usually take it super early, but once I translate the Sapphire Key, it actually ends up becoming um, 10 max HP for us, which is... Uh, and this is true. I'm almost certain. More. Front load will be good, actually. Replicate front load. We return and then strike. Because the card that comes back is going to be an attack. Use digital carnage here and then pop a big digital carnage. Strike, strike. Uh, and then in the new draw pile is still my digital carnage modifi uh, modified card. That's not great. Uh, I could try and fish for lethal from the colorless potion, but it seems quite unlikely to work. I'm just going to guarantee lethal next time. Silver bullet. Start each combat with a piercing shot in sequence. Hmm. That actually could be good, right? Take that, take bronze orb, only take expensive things. Sure. Only take expansion, uh, expensive things to put into the function, that is. Uh, so that's going to be six damage to all enemies. So if I use the bronze orb and if I actually end up building something this turn, it will kill that frontliner for us. Nice. Let's use go to. Kill the second as well. Hit you. Return. Finish you off. Great. Buys as much time as is possible before the next thing we have to deal with. 20 gold? 19! Oh, no, it's fine. We'll have enough gold by the time we get to the next campfire to break the emerald and the ruby. Max output. No, probably not. Doesn't make sense in this deck. Another return isn't awful, but it's just bad in the first cycle. I think we'll pass all of those. This one just feels like a big return. And bronze orb. Yeah, saves us a draw there. Because maybe we want to open up the fight this turn. And in fact, we do want to open up the fight this turn. We throw out the digital carnage. We throw that out again. Use the replicate and then go to. We're hoping to draw pretty much anything except for the card that we created at the start. But it had front load and it had retain. So would have been fine had we drawn it anyway. Uh, okay, we replicate here. The piercing wall. I could double defend. Yeah, let's try and keep it perfect. Yeah. And I can do because I got enough defense on the next hand. Perfect. Quite literally. Wall paint is a great... Virus. Upgrades the next three cards you encode that can be upgraded. Upgrades to five. Uh, replicate front load and digital carnage are not upgraded yet. We could just take and optimize. But we have a lot of things that go in there before the optimize would even go out. It's, it's seeing virus and not taking it feels bad. But I don't think I do in this build. Take the wall paint. Return now no longer exhausts. I actually think I preferred it when it did exhaust. I don't... Do I... Do I want to fight for all faces? How bad is Lot's Hungry Face for us? Is it truly, truly awful? I don't think it is. Because eventually we're going to want this to be a bit slower, aren't we? 
It's never going to be quick. All right. Fight me. I want all the faces, please. Hmm. How would I defend myself? Am I defending this turn? Maybe I'm not defending this turn. So right now, front load does it, but then I can't play the Digital Carnage. And Digital Carnage wants to get out as soon as possible. No, I just don't think I defend this turn. Digital Carnage, use a return. Oh, I know what it was. It was Bronze Orb, then the return, because it still gives you an energy even if it's played on zero and then defend. Yep. That's how I would have done the full defend. Okay. There's the return in there again. Finish him off. Three turn time. Pump pick up. Gain. Yeah, all the masks. Fine tuning. Full shield. Wild beam. Still a hard no. All right. There's all the masks. We've gotten Lost Hungry Face. Next non-boss uh, chest we open will be empty. And we also start every combat with weak. However, every time we go to a question mark room, we gain 50 souls. And at the end of every combat, we raise our max HP by one. You're going to get all of the heart blessings instantly there. Upgrade Digital Carnage because it upgrades for eight damage, which is pretty significant. Front load and bronze orb are essential here so that we get to full defend. Go to will take us into the next draw pile as well. Do I want to play a replicate first? Yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a turn's worth of the increase still. Hmm. Got him. Distilled chaos. Allocate. Gain energy for each. No. Wow, we're really not finding anything that synergizes with what we're currently doing. It's a little bit tragic. Just a little bit. Nice. Swift pot. Invoke. Yes. Compile. Gain energy to the total cost of the cards in the sequence. It's exactly the kind of thing that wants to go with the rest of these. Well, this potion for a swift potion seems better for us. Car, car, indeed. Uh, replicate still in the draw pile, so I'm actually a little hesitant to... to cast everything here. Let's do go too fast. Invoke. Interesting. I think I front load? Yeah. I'm gonna draw those two cards first, have a little bit more control over the draw pile, just in case. Sure. There's the replicate, great. So that guarantees that then we hit this return. The bronze orb is going to get the digital carnage out. I can use replicate and invoke, and then I get the digital carnage back, and then I can just play it. So two functions quite quickly in that first cycle. Um, you know what? Big return, single strike. I need the extra energy so that I can play the two two-cost functions on the same turn. I say before immediately drawing a void, which invalidates my ability to do that. This is ethereal, unfortunately. So if I really want to keep the damage in the deck, I gotta use the digital copy. Thankfully, this will retain, but... Unfortunately, I also have to take 9 damage. 11 damage, sorry. I believe that one's not as damaging. Hmm. Digital Carnage, then we can return to write a single strike. Good. 
good placement for that replicate right there. Not loving the damage I'm taking, but it looks like I may make it through still. Despite everything. Hmm. But they're certainly not making it easy on us. Unfortunately, I have to lose my ethereal there. Uh, we're one damage off of killing the enemy this turn. They're not too far from killing me, so there we go. Whew. Another max HP, please. Mutator Hardcode Virus. Really? Hmm. That is interesting, actually. We could try and angle to hard code something like a digital carnage front load. It's just a great card if we have those two together. Upgrade the front load prior so that it is, what, your 12? Please go to 16. It's a really good card that would make. Alright, fine. Hmm. The fact that I have two two costs in the deck really compels me to take an energy relic here. We're not really resting at rest sites anyway. We may need to in the future. Giving all of the enemies one strength feels bad too, though. Especially before the next floor, as I don't have that much defense in this deck. I could just transform an upgrade three. That wouldn't be awful, but it would mess up the bronze orb a considerable amount of the time. Fine. Take the Philosophers. No birds. No birds. No birds. Not a single bird. Never seen a bird. Don't even know what they are. Do they fly? I wouldn't know. Again, I've never heard of birds. Game? You too, please? That ends up giving you four plus block. Typically on the turn, it ends up getting played. Right, front load, of course. Now that's a funny looking bird. Front load bronze orb. Yeah, got replicate, that's okay. Let's throw the invoke up there. Digital Carnage go to seems great. Even get back a bunch of energy to play it with. Uh, and then unfortunately we get to hard code, which I'm not going to be able to use in this fight. Uh, let's return and then defend the game. We'll have to choose our hard code fight pretty, uh, pretty carefully. It's just not going to be viable to do it in all different fights. Bit shift. It returns to your hand, it gains retain. And give me the ability to try and remove the silver bullet. I don't know if there's a reason I would want to, though. Philosophize. We're not really a strength gain deck. We're kind of just like more of a large impact deck. I don't think we take any of those. Spare some coin, child. Gain 100 souls or remove a card from the deck. 100 so eh, It's remove. Remove. I'll take the extra opportunity to do so. Cut a strike by base because we're slightly underdefended. Uh, so I do want to go three elites. Those three elites actually do have a bunch of question marks in the middle of them as well. So I'm still making value from our uh, serpent head, thankfully. Uh, otherwise, I would have tried to peace out. Hmm. Can I do this? Hard code, then I can't even play front load. So no, I think is the answer there. Let's 
front load, gain back a, uh, back a bunch of energy. I mean, I could throw out hard code right now and hard code like a digital as well as go to and replicate. I don't want to take go to and replicate out of my draw pile. Hmm. So don't want to not play hard code though. Strike, return, another strike out there. Weakness finally wears off. Uh, I guess I will replicate and probably double defend before playing go to. Yep. Digital Carnage gets that kill, but then it itself dies. And we have to follow up with as much damage as we can actually generate by ourselves. Strike, return, strike, pop them. That one seems to have worked out well for us in the end. Energy potion actually seems quite great. Another digital carnage. What if I put two digital carnages in the same? Two digital carnages and a front load as our hard-coded card. Retain, deal 56 damage, gain 16 block. Okay. I, I don't often try and just make everything big, but... Maybe that's why I gotta try it. See what it's all about. Ah, that hit one of our carnages. That's okay then. Um, that's gonna come back for free anyway, so I don't need to use the invoke here. And in fact, I can even get another strike out. Carnage, front load. That comes back to hand. It's got the retain and it's got ethereal as prior mentioned. Uh, that there. Single strike. Return and go to. One invoked carnage. One piercing carnage. Gets the kill on each of the enemies. Flail. Yep, that's an expensive. And it's a mere we. Transform three cards, curse random. I'll transform the one, thank you. Strike becomes a cut through. Eh, it's another encode card. I'm actually not kind of keen on that. Noloth takes their... Takes their tithe there. <laughs> I think I actually invoke here. Because I'm going to use hard code. Yep. This is where I make the perfect one. So what? It's flail, digital carnage, and front load? Or do I want to go digital carnage, digital carnage, front load? Because if I do digital carnage, digital carnage, front load, it's just return, defend right now. I guess I could try and play the top three cards in my deck. 25% of the time it misses the defend. I guess I could also just try and build it this turn, popping a bunch of potions. Play the top three cards in my deck, draw. Hmm. I don't dislike that. Top three cards. Okay, and then we draw. I didn't want the AoE, did I? No, I think I do want it to just be better in single target. There we go. That card's now in the deck. I guess I will flail, return, and then defend? Yeah, I'll get a go-to later on. I don't need to have one damage dealt to us here. So I will actually just take... Oh, it scries, but it doesn't draw right now. 
was certain that was going to draw. Wait a second. Wait, so hang on. Hard code... Hard code removes it from this fight. We actually may not even have the damage to finish this fight now. Hopefully that's not the case. Because... Rough? Rough if true? Piercing... <laughs> Can't take that much damage. Not right before more elites. There we go. Don't love that. Regen potion's pretty good though. Hard code again. Remove even more cards from the deck. Go for like flail. Go to literally anything else as well. Maybe cut through go to flail. Let's see how far we can get just trying to hard code everything. That would have been a great, great thing to hard code there. Maybe I just hard code this. Ten damage, three block, zero cost. Energy. Maybe I can even throw a goat. No, no, no. Those are all wrong. Got to fight against the instinct there, and we can't even make me frail. Do a giant, giant amount of damage on the enemy there. Uh, when he coded, no deprecate. No. No, I'd have to upgrade it still. I think I probably do use the regen in this fight. Hopefully we find Flail right now. We do not. Hopefully we find Flail right now. We do. Oh, we do, actually! No, it's not enough damage for us now. Get rid of both of those from the next draw pile. Hard code can't even be played right now. Defend, return, defend, I think is probably the best play. Unless I also want to replicate wall and then just throw the... Uh, replicate invoke and then just throw the wall at the enemy. I think I actually do. Replicate invoke. Get that back. And then we just throw the wall at the enemy. Fully defending ourselves. Get another strike out there. So yeah, I don't think I will regen in this fight then. Unfortunately, due to the order that we had those played in the sequence, we uh, draw before we scry. Not ideal, but it does work out in the end. Pantograph, good pick up there. Get latest, it costs zero. That could be good, but it's only a could, not will. N Caridian at the start of each combat, put a power card into your opening hand. Library at the start of the turn, choose a card within code. Sorry, add a random card within code to your hand. It costs zero. Uh, this this fight's probably going to be the fight of our lives. There's the flail. Go to. Get that flail out there. Use a digital wall to kill the backliner. Replicate cut through and then invoke and then try and keep going. I think we actually do that. Right, the invoke drew a card for us. Uh, that'll actually not be drawn this turn, so we're fine. Again, I'm going to hold off on using the regen potion just in case. Yeah. 
just in case there being just in case we get a regen potion. I probably could have tried to stay in that fight a really long time and use hard code eventually, actually. That might have been the play. Instructor, fine tuning, cut through. No, thank you. Hmm. Mm, no, I think I would want go to. Well, hang on, but maybe I do want go to in the next one, and maybe that's fine, right? Because I'm about to be re-rolled. So if go to is one, co sorry, flail is one cost. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. So we uh return, strike, pass. We're looking for hard code next turn, and then flail to be one cost or less. Flail is three cost. Well, we can try and re-roll that still. We can use the digital wall, play hard code, defend. Let's defend again, sure. Okay. This is still going to encode, right? Oh, God. Flail's too expensive. Flail's finally won. Kill with that. It encodes. We get the card. Yeah, there we go. Piercing Sprint is zero cost. But that's just because it uh, functioned with the, the Bronze Core. By base, it's one. Because the Flail, at the time didn't have like or rather its cost was set to one at the time so the functions cost is one rather than two that is great that is a good use of that second copy there iterate i don't know i don't know about that i think we might be done ish lose 150 souls for 10 max hp is not bad uh, I could also just offer an invoke right now, and that would be really good. Yeah. Removes a card from the deck that's no longer useful because I got the rest of those cards played already. Wait, is this always going to be zero cost? No, it's just zero cost until played. And then in the discard pile, it's one cost. There we go. Maybe it's... But it looks like it's zero cost at the start of every fight until played. A bit of a weird one right there, but okay, thank you. I'm not gonna gift that horse a mouth, so I guess we'll leave it there. Uh pop even more damage out there. I guess I'll go for a return. Hit. That weakness on turn one is actually really harming us. I say harming, it's not nice. That count, that count is the same thing. Potion. Repulse a separate a wild beam. Take a single repulsor for the next combat. Uh, for the next um for now. Oh. No, I don't think so. That said, Cultist Potion's pretty big in the Yao fight. Let's optimize a bronze orbs card. Okay, that got the replicate up there. That also removed replicate from our draw pile because we didn't play it, so we're not going to get another copy of it. We draw into a return. Definitely want to leave both of those on the top of the deck. Um, guess I'm just going to return and defend. Yeah, go to is in the piercing sprint. There's the damage in AoE. I'm actually going to scry all the cards from the top of the deck, then play the digital wall, and then piercing sprint to get to the next draw cycle, where I am able to play whatever I draw. What did you just triplicate? Jax? <laughs> Deflect. Uh, I would have been a little more scared of Jax. I guess returning's doing okay. Hmm. 
scry and then draw. Get that digital wall out there. Defend, return. Defend again. Perfect defense. The enemy does have a decent amount of weaken on me, but also I do individual large hits. It shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. There's the extra digital wall and return for a strike. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess this is paying for the more expensive cards functions that we have to play in the second cycle and such. There we go. Scry the cards from the deck. I will remove all of those as quickly as possible. Get back to the good ones. Every card I remove from the deck right now is just huge value. I should remember that. Next floor should probably be just spent removing as many cards as I possibly can. Dex pot. Library format Thunderwave. Okay, that's being finished. All right, that's being finished. Okay, hang on, wrong bottle. Do not have another water up here, unfortunately. Uh, Thunderwave library format. Really? Hmm. Maybe if I still had a hard code format. I don't think I do want it anymore, though. Let's pass that. Dex Potion, hmm, we don't gain a bunch of small instances, so Dex Potion's not huge, but it's still probably better than the Essence of Steel for us in a long enough fight. Gain energy out of random status card to your discard pile at the start of each turn, no. Tiny House, no. Rune Pyramid, yes. Retain every card? Play Digital Wall and Piercing Sprint three times a turn? Yes. Yes, I would like to do that, actually. Uh, the path that has the most shops is going to be the one we take. Well, this one's got the early shop, so we'll uh, always be on this path anyway. Bronze Orb. Am I always going to be using that? God, which of these do I even want to upgrade? Nothing else I can do here. I guess I will upgrade Bronze Orb then. Better than nothing. Okay. Replicate. Get him with that Bronze Orb that gets nothing. Digital wall. We'll scry through to, again, nothing. Piercing copy. Oh my god. Yeah. If only. If only we weren't weakened on turn one. Second cultist potion. Okay. Oil. I need any of those. Max output even? Also not really needed for us. Give it a piercing sprint. Hit him with a cut through. Burning both of those cards. Get me back to the sprint, please. No! Oh! <laughs> One of the sprints! There it is, still on the top of the deck. Still unreachable. We get to keep the digital wall. And then now it's sprint time. Too late. You had your chance. That's interesting, but it goes into the discard pile, which we access almost immediately, so no. Okay, let's optimize. Pop that bronze orb out. That, and then a return to cut through. Dashing both of those. We get another con. Piercing sprints in the next. Yep, that's totally fine. So I just keep these garbage cards in hand so that they're taken out of the draw cycle. Great, giving us the ability to do specifically this. Digital wall. Piercing sprint. Digital wall. Piercing copycat. Turn. Strike. Leaving five cards in hand, giving us a full draw where we...
do it again! Wait, it's piercing sprint, right? It generates good defense. It generates good offense. How do you argue with it? Oh my god, how do you argue with it? This is actually... Yeah, this is going to kill the merchant. <laughs> Class default. Add a copy of the first card in the current sequence in the next two sequences automatically. No, for loop, no, buggy mess, no. Pass. The start of combat, add two copies of fine tuning plus to your hand. Ooh. Gives cut through the ability to scry more cards, compiles to draw more cards. Actually, that doesn't even help us. <laughs> Remarkable, but that won't be good. Um, We have another shot, right? We have more time to get other things that are going to be good. So I'll take a clockwork souvenir, save myself from a debuff. I'll take a captain's wheel, even give myself some good defense. Then pass from there. Good defense on turn three specifically. Longsword Replicate gets two cards out of the draw pile. That's good for us. It's a feature, and then we can do that again to remove an enemy. But before I do that, pop that digital wall, use a... Actually, no, 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 we can do that, right? Because then we remove both of those. Perfect. Getting back to the digital wall that we play and then defend and then perfect. <sighs> Philosophize, cut through, separator. Philosophize is a lot of strength gain. Hmm. So I'd cut out replicate. Fine. Through still wants an upgrade, and then basically every other card that is not upgraded right now wants to be removed from the deck. Sundial! Every three times you shove your draw pile, gain two energy. Um, did you see what we're doing in the moment? Could that be any more useful? Uh, hit him with the bronze orb. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna organize this all perfectly. I don't think that's really gonna matter too much. Uh, defend, turn, single strike after. Maybe I didn't even need to do that. In fact, I definitely didn't even need to do that. I don't want these cards being added at the moment. Eh, yeah, I'll get rid of that return. That was some good scry. Another infinite loop comes out that I'm not really super interested in. There you go. One HP left. How do you want to die? There you go. With the copying loop. Oh, memory. Yeah, that's going to be more important. Cut through break. Deprecate. No. No, thank you. I'm fine. Gain a reward, yes. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. And that's all that matters at this point. It doesn't matter what gets upgraded. I just need to remove things. Replicate. That's fine. I'm still removing that. Uh, do I want two elites? Well, those rests do nothing for me, right? Because I upgrade cards I intend to remove, so... No, I'm fine. It's Bronzely Orb. Philosophize a little bit, maybe give him some uh, some think. We gave him a little bit of think there. We thonk to think. Hey, I'm not even weak on turn one anymore. We bought our way out of that with the Clockwork Souvenir. I didn't think that was gonna work, right? Because weak's all the way over here, and then Clockwork Souvenir's here, but the order of those things has always confused me, to be entirely honest with you. Um. 
I don't need to become vulnerable. I could have played that Invalidate right there, but I can also just play it next turn. Perfect. Toy Ornithopter, Vexing Draft. No, Sentient Form. First time you create or draw a function each turn, increase all of its numbers by one. I can take that. It's not going to be incredible for us, but I can take it. 10 block on turn one is not bad. We also do have a shop next floor. Got to keep remembering that. Get the replicate out. We get the replicate out so that we can definitely create a function on turn one. The silver bullet, the... Uh, the silver bullet. How do we create this function now? Silver bullet, cut through. Philosophize, right. So if we draw either of these two and play the bronze orb, we're fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Totally fine with that. Hey, another sentient form. Nice. Okay, so here we cut through. Sentient form. Definitely want to leave that on top of the deck. I'm going to draw into that and play it. Cut the defend. Play a philosophize. We draw into a sentient form, which we instantly get to play. Uh, you know what? I don't want to miss out on that many things there. There we go. Don't need to pay the piercing sprint. There you go. Giant hit. Draw that card again. There you go. Giant hit. Not really much of a better turn available there. Enemy does the giant hit right back at us. But uh, nowhere near enough. Terminator. Oh, man. Ooh. Cutting cut through from the deck and then putting Terminator in instead. Yes. Bronze Orb. We get back... The Philosophize, we use Terminator. Now we have the ability to deal damage and AoE as well as gain strength whilst we're doing it. Um, on that, all of the rest of that looks good. Also draw into a new draw pile here. Beautiful. Oh, baby. I mean, like, I could have tried to do that any other way, but I think we're at the point where we just click. <laughs> Preserved insect as I kill literally the last elite. Uh, yeah, it's counted as a, wait, it's counted as an elite next floor, is it not? Okay, so there is one elite next floor, but still. Rare relic. Okay. I can actually think of more rare relics right now that I don't want than I do. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to double scry, so we'll get rid of that Terminator, I guess. Right? No. We draw into sentient form. We play the one that is best when it upgrades. Max output. You can max output to draw into a new draw pile here. Nice. And that will kill one of our enemies for us. Then we play return and then we use the piercing cut to kill the other one. <laughs> ah, told you not being weak on turn one was going to be pretty good for us there. Oh, those spikers got a shield on them. Philosophize. Perfect. Um, I actually may use Sentient Form here. Hold off on using Piercing Sprint even. Perfect. Then we play the Terminator. 
Get that back. It's upgraded. It gains two strength each time it's played now. It does eight damage to all enemies, though. So I am going to have to use a defend. Place it two times as well. So defend as well as the piercing wall. And that'll all go through. And then seven AoE. That's fine. As long as the backliner is dead. We're s what? How many? Why did it play that many times? Must have messed up on some counting. Nope. We're good. Gosh, library comes from this so commonly. Philosophize, Bronze Orb, definitely. So we play Sentient, Philosophize, Bronze Orb. Uh, we definitely library as well. But I don't think I play anything else. Because I do need to keep the enemy's mantra in check still. We've died to this enemy too many times from similar things. It's time to die to something new. I mean, not die to this enemy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, weird. Um, visual wall. Then we play the piercing sprint. Those cards. Play digital again. And wrap it up with a return to a piercing idea. Get that card out of hand. So we digital wall. Then piercing sprint. Digital wall. That's all I need to do. Mm, piercing idea really wants to be played. It's full strength. <laughs> and I return. Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this to myself? Making the same mistake? I'm at least trying to make new mistakes these days. Gosh. Seven to all. We actually have lethal. There we go. No mistake. That is our Ascension 9 victory with the Automaton locked in. Whew. Got a huge amount of money for the shop upcoming. Hopefully we have enough to benefit from as well. Ooh, that's great. Sentient form, bronze orb, terminator. Now we get the double strength again. Piercing sprint in another. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should have even scried past the next draw because this doesn't want the upgrades. This does. And in fact, it is exactly the one that missed them. And then I'll draw three cards. No, I'll do that. Then I'll draw three cards. Yeah, because then I can play all of them by using piercing wall, return, piercing wall. Centennial Puzzle, the Power Potion. Eh. Eh. I'll pass on all of those, thank you. Oh. The start of combat, gain two energy and add one void to your draw pile. We will almost certainly end up drawing into that, and then it will lock a space in our hand, but it will give us an extra energy on turn one. Is an extra energy on turn one worth anything to us? Sometimes? Fine. But only because I have no clue what else to do with my money. Um, God, I may even just take Whetstone to flex on him. There you go. A Whetstone that upgrades nothing. Get flexed on. Uh, upgrade the Terminator for it to be zero cost. That saves us an energy on the turn that we have to play Terminator. Assuming we're playing Terminator rather than it's just being played for us by another effect. Okay. Unfortunately, the Bronze Orb can get Philosophize or Cut Through at the moment. It's not going to be the end of the world if it gets one or the other. It's just a bit sad. Can you use Piercing Sprint to try and guarantee it a little bit more, though? 
Let's do that. Haunted. Okay, so I can't hold any of these in hand. That's fine. I'll get the Icky to burn itself. Bronze Orb gets the wrong one. Great. Still have to use the Terminator here. Unfortunately, that also means Philosophize. It's just going to give us a strength, and that's all it's going to do in this combat. Guess that's okay. This is just going to scry cards for us, which I guess is okay. Um... There you go. You're about to find out that burning out my deck is not a good move. Uh, let's... And I can try and use Bewildered to reroll the cost of the digital wall a lot. But then I need that and Piercing Sprint to both be low. Uh, play the Bewildered. Play out Sentient Form. Return and then... Hit him with a Piercing Sprint. Get an upgrade on the other Piercing Curl. Great! And yeah, we're pretty much locked in. Not really entirely certain how the enemy intends to deal with us past this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Return defend. There you go. Feel free to put a void on the draw file. I draw enough cards each turn. So just play a giant return here and then uh, let the rest burn. Uh, rock the piercing cart just so that I don't misplace any of my damage there because I know that piercing sprint is going to get us extra energy back. Mm-hmm. As a result of the Sundial having been at 2 when we started that. It's already at 1. If I just had another card that had draw on it, that would be really good. Alas. I could also just burn Return. But I draw 5 cards a turn anyway. So it's not really harming us. Extra energy. Uses the ability to dunk on you just a wee bit more. Do I just go all out? Feels like it, right? Double dunk. Draw all those cards. Double dunk. Do it again. Let return burn. Just because I don't want to play another card there. And also, eight more turns of return. Yeah, I already have enough. It's never going to be a problem for us. I could have played the piercing cut in the middle there. Actually, I would have had lethal had I played the piercing cut. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about playing any of them. Earlier on, should have been evidently. Okay... Here we'll definitely get both. Oh my god! Summon orb! Whenever you create or play a function, gain four block and deal four damage to a random enemy. That's perfect for us. Uh, first attack used against it. Now each turn does zero damage. Fine, whatever. Uh, whenever you play a card, now gain some mantra. Sure. Okay. Summon orb. Philosophize. In with a piercing sprint, looking for. Dang, more information as to what the upcoming cards were. That's what I was looking for there. Um, I actually think what I'm going to do is Sentient Form, Liquid Memory, back the piercing, play that, drawing into and then playing the Terminator, which then gets upgraded. This has the ability to give us six strength right now. Sorry, eight strength right now. Uh, and then none of the rest of these even need to be played right now. So instead, I will play Giant Return, so I have the ability to play... The rest of my stuff more freely. Haunted is in the draw pile. Hmm. I 
I really need to play Bewildered. It's exactly what I needed not to happen. Get rid of Lord. Just need a digital wall to roll a better cost. Unfortunately, we rolled worse costs on almost everything there. Um, fine. Zero cost piercing idea is nice. Zero cost defense are also decent. Let's play out floor. Do I want to save any of these cards? Takes us two more casts to do so. Draw pile is literally just four good cards. Burn them. Please stop trashing while I'm playing. Let's play out bewildered. Hit him with the wall. I don't even need to draw right now. I'm just going to go for the strength. Icky and then burn Icky. No. Piercing sprint is enough damage that I should still play it there. And then double piercing idea. Even more strength. Don't need to give the enemy 10 strength here though. So we'll hold off now. And then... Digital wall, piercing idea, piercing sprint, and then I could have gone, you know, digital wall, piercing sprint, any, any which way I wanted to end up handling that, we could have ended up handling that. That was an interesting style of deck. It ended up curving back towards kind of more of a similar deck that I would previously create, courtesy of the hard codes. Otherwise, I was going to have to very, very slowly work up to those functions. I wouldn't have had as many of them as I did. Nice. I'm pretty damn pleased with that for the moment. My name is Rune Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slayed the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my contents on this game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.